Hello everyone and welcome back to the Do Digital YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite ways to make money on the internet. So I'm very new to this whole world and this all started in May of 2020. It's now Jan of 2021 and in that nine month period I have made about 60,000 Rand or 4,000 US dollars during lockdown where Obviously, a lot of things were not possible to make money on. In my instance, I was saving a little bit of a runway into entrepreneurship, but for anyone who has a savings goal, like possibly buying a house or a new car, this would be helpful to you. So that's why I'm sharing. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Megs, and every week I release tech tutorials helping you do digital better. get into today's video if you wouldn't mind liking the video and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already it would help me out so much so without further ado the first one is Skillshare and this is a topic that I've spoken about quite a bit on this channel so I will definitely link to all the relevant videos down below but effectively Skillshare is like a Netflix for online learning content and it's a really great way for beginners to get started with online course creation the courses are very short and they're easy to create and because you get a two-week free trial when you use my link below, you're able to actually see what the style of courses is and what it would involve in you creating your very own course. So just taking that two weeks on the free trial to be like, okay, I can do this. You know, these are the sorts of things that I need to be bearing in mind. So I love Skillshare because as I say, it doesn't necessitate very long courses like some of the competitors like Udemy and Teachable. And so it's really a low barrier to entry. So I got started in May of 2020, as I mentioned, and it's been earning me decent cash every month and it has been growing quite significantly. I'm sure I will start to see a drop off at some stage because I have unfortunately not had the time to keep publishing every month like I wanted to, but certainly once I resume doing that, I think it'll kind of pay off in the long term. And so obviously the merits of creating a digital product and selling it through something like Skillshare is it's a marketplace, so you're not paying for people to get and find you there. And secondly, it is a low barrier to entry because you don't need to be good with technology to actually get started. So I will pop my earnings on the screen, but this formed by and large the largest portion of this passive income that I earned during this period. The second way that I make money using Skillshare is it actually has an affiliate program. So this is going to be our second point, but it's kind of related to our first. So I was always so confused about affiliate marketing and what it was and whether you could do it if you resided outside of the States. And the good news is it's very much possible. You do just need to find profitable affiliate programs which allow you to put links in, for example, your YouTube videos that actually allow you to generate an income apart from maybe just AdSense or your Skillshare earnings but we'll get into AdSense in just a second. So with affiliate marketing, basically when someone clicks a link, it actually puts a cookie on their browser, which lasts for typically about 45 days, which means if you click my link to potentially the camera that I use, you're gonna get a cookie placed on your browser. And then if you were to purchase either the camera or maybe something different using that link that I've given to you, it's actually then going to be attributed back to me at no cost to you of the person who clicked it. So I'm going to list a bunch of the best affiliate programs that I know, but certainly I know that Canva has a great one, GoDaddy has a great one, Wix has a good one, Skillshare has a brilliant one, and so the list goes on. I think I also have affiliate links for TubeBuddy, Uber has one, Airbnb, the list goes on. So there are a lot of companies that use this as a key tool within their growth because if they can get influencers or people out there on the internet to use their links, then obviously they are getting referral traffic and therefore want to reimburse you in some way because they're not having to pay for that media to actually drive you to their platform if someone's endorsing them on, on their own free will. So it's all about driving more organic traffic and then actually just saying thank you to the person in some small way. So that's why I think Skillshare is a great option to get started because it's not only going to give you exposure to the online course creation world, but also to this world of affiliate marketing. The third way that I make money online is through the ever elusive YouTube monetization. So this is an interesting one because people have said to me, you know, it takes such a long time. It did, I think it took me 18 months to get monetized. So it certainly isn't a short term overnight approach. But then again, with most of these sorts of things, that isn't the case. I'll pop my earnings on the screen from a YouTube perspective. 
but you'll see that this pales in comparison to Skillshare. However, where my situation is a little bit interesting is that actually the Skillshare earnings is kind of predicated on the YouTube viewership because basically you're using YouTube to maybe nurture the lead of someone that is interested in digital marketing and then if they're truly serious about it, it's likely that they'll convert and actually watch premium stuff on Skillshare. So it's kind of like a little mini ecosystem, but I think that's actually how a lot of people get it right, is they set up these ecosystems where all of the things are feeding one another. So I would encourage people not to let the overwhelm get the better of them. If YouTube is something that they're genuinely passionate about, there are incredible resources out there that are free and paid for in terms of helping you on your way, helping you with filming equipment, filming setup, YouTube editing, best practice, you know, there's so, so much. I'm always here to help if anyone has YouTube questions. I can always make an FAQs video about YouTube if people are interested in getting started. At present, my YouTube earnings range between $140 and $155 in a month. And so that's kind of what I see when I log into YouTube Studio, which is an app for creators, which allows you to monitor your analytics. All right, so the fourth way that I managed to make money during lockdown online is through an online thrifting app called Yaga. This is very much like a Facebook marketplace and I do from time to time also sell on Facebook marketplace but for the most part I sell on Yaga. So I'll list my store down below so that you guys can check it out but basically it just shows you clothes that I loved but no longer wear. It's all about kind of coming from a poor place of resourcefulness as opposed to like I need new fashion and subscribing to fast fashion and all that that does to the planet. So I really love Yaga and Facebook Marketplace because I feel like actually there's more than enough to go around. I tallied it up not so long ago and I think I've bought about 2,500 rands worth of stuff in Yaga in that time frame, but I've made something like three and a half thousand rand. So I've got a whole cupboard full of new clothes and I actually made a profit at doing it. So it really is a really cool way of being a little bit more frugal and resourceful. And then finally, the fifth way that you can make money online, but which I haven't been doing because I have been full-time employed, is by listing your services on a platform like Fiverr or Upwork. So I used to do this when I was freelancing, but subsequently took a full-time job. So haven't been doing this in this time frame, but certainly it is a super effective way of earning money online and something that I did quite a lot previously before my job. So I would list my services on those two platforms and then I would also be very active in communities like Future Females and The Resource, which are both Facebook groups which are really very relevant to me working in advertising, but certainly there'll be very specialized groups pertaining to you and your career that you can Find people who are looking for your skill set and earn money that way. The, the more that you can land these clients, the more location independent you can become. And there was a point where certainly I could have taken the plunge to actually become like a full digital nomad at that stage because all my clients I'd found from these various sources and none of them took up 100% of my time. So I felt like my risk was pretty well diversified in terms of having a bunch of different gigs and they were quite different. Like some of them were video editing, some of them were website creation, some of them were copywriting and so I really felt like I was able to flex a bunch of different muscles at the same time, get a lot of enjoyment out of it and be completely location independent. Before you maybe have a product or a YouTube channel up and running, you can certainly just sell your time and your services online in the meantime and really use that as your nest egg to think of your next thing. Obviously you are trading time for money so you can only scale to a certain place but it's definitely going to be enough to help you pay your rent, pay your bills and do whatever else you need to. I really hope you guys found this video valuable and it didn't come across like bragging at all but I just want to prove that it is really feasible to make money on the internet, you don't have to be a genius. I hope that it shed some light on how I do it, how I get it right and how it's actually able to generate a really nice side income for me without taking up huge amounts of my time or effort. And I really hope that I can help people do the same on this channel. So if you have questions, let me know it down below. I'd be so happy to help and I cannot wait to see you next time so we can continue to do digital better. I can help you out. I can help you out. I can help